In this section, we're going to explore what happens when you do some work on a branch and then you need to switch over to a different branch before you actually do a commit. So the use case for this is where you're doing some work on a branch and you're just about ready to make a commit. Maybe you have a few more changes and then all of a sudden you need to move over and make a change in another branch. Now, because all of our branches share the same file system, when we switch over to another branch, any changes that we've made in a previous branch get pulled over to that new branch because it assumes that if we're making these changes, maybe we want to pull these changes into another branch. So we need to use a feature called stashing in order to take our changes and put them in a temporary location while we work on a different branch so we can make changes to one branch while we're in the middle of making changes to a different branch. Let's begin by creating a new branch that we're going to use as a test. We'll call this pages feature because we're going to pull in a module called pages. I'm going to use the command git checkout and I'm going to pass it the B parameter again to create a new branch and we'll call it pages feature and I'm going to hit enter and now we're switched to the new branch. Let's go ahead and work through this scenario by first adding some code and making some modifications. We'll make changes both in the staged and unstaged area so we can show exactly how the stash works. I'm going to jump over to the build a module resource pack for coders and I'm going to copy the pages module. We're going to just copy the entire folder and we're going to paste it into our sites all modules custom folder. Okay, now we have our pages folder here. Let's go ahead and jump back to the command line and add all of this code to the staging area. So let's do a git status to take a look at the status of our code. So it says here we have some untracked files in our pages custom folder. So let's go ahead and add this. I'm gonna do git add, and then I'm going to go ahead and paste this directory in here. And I'm gonna hit enter. And if we do git status, we'll see that we have a whole slew of files that are ready to be committed. They've been added to the staging area. Let's go ahead and make a modification that will remain unstaged so we can see what happens when we stash that. I'm gonna jump back to the folder where our pages directory is. I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna open up the steps directory and I'm gonna open up the first step here. I'm going to jump back to the directory and also open up the pages.module file. I'm going to copy all of the code in the first step here, the 01 dot, and paste it over the code that's currently in the pages.module file and save it. I'm going to jump back to the command line and now when we do git status, we see all of our added files and then we have an unstaged change here. First of all, we could go ahead and commit our changes to the pages feature branch, and most of the time that's going to be the best route. But occasionally we'll be in the middle of preparing a commit, and some commits, especially as you get deeper into being very careful about the types of commits that you make, each commit can take a long time to put together. And so if you want to save the state so you can come back to it later and fully prepare it, then you'll want to use the stash. The second thing that we can do is go ahead and move over to the master branch and when we commit a change, then be very specific about the types of things that we're going to commit. But we haven't gotten far enough in our skill set yet as we work through this series to be able to be selective about the types of commits that we make within a file. And sometimes that's exactly what you would need to do at this point. So the third option is to use the stash. So first of all, let's see what happens when we actually switch to a different branch. I'm going to go git, checkout, and then I'm going to type master. And the output has told us that we've pulled in some changes while we've made this switch to a different branch. If we do git status, we'll see the same changes that we had from the other branch pulled in. So if we want to go ahead and move this into a stash, we can simply use git stash and then save and then we can name it. We'll just go ahead and use stashing changes to the pages module and I'll press enter. And we have some message here. It says 
on master stashing changes to the paging module head is now at now this is the same kind of message that we see when we reset something so this is taking all of our changes and moving it into a stash if we do get status now you'll see that there's nothing to commit all of our changes are gone 